What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Big C Richie here, aka Richie, and today we are going over the best gold cards that are in the game. Now, I get the common question, what's a great gold card to use for road to playoffs? What are the best in each position? Now, I have played with all these cards, so in my opinion, these are, I've chosen two players for each position. So two point guards, just to give you a little variety. And uh, I think these guys are the cards that you'll be very happy with. So we're going to do a little review, kind of go over the stats, and then you guys can decide. Not all of you are going to agree, and I'm okay with that, but I have played with these guys, and these are the guys I play the best with. So starting off the point guard, obvious. Some, some of these guys are going to be pretty obvious, but some of these guys you'd be like, what? But we're going to start off with 89 Russell Westbrook. He's great. Good mid-range, I mean decent mid-range at an 87. I put a shoe on him. You put shoes on these guys, they get a lot better. So I put a mid-range shoe on him to help him out in that area. Um, standing shot three is makeable. But the thing that you're going to like about this card the most is his defense. Great defense. He can keep up with the LeBrons at point guard or at least try and slow him down. Great driving dunk. This guy is a monster and his speed is is great now Kyrie Irving now he's not the next highest point guard up but everybody knows that this card is my most favorite card to use in the game overall the amethyst everything mid-range 87 this is no shoe applied either standing shot 3 and 89 now his steal is not good his defense is not the greatest but his speed with the shoe is a 96 now normally his speed is a uh, an 80 something I think an 80 an 87 an 87 speed but this card is phenomenal offensive monster you put a speed shoe on him he literally can't be stopped now we're moving on to the shooting guard pretty obvious the sniper a splash brother freaking Clay Thompson not only does this guy have mid-range of an 85 standing three a 96 with the shoe Without the shoe, his shoe is standing three is a 93. But his his defense is phenomenal. 95 defense. This guy locks down defense. So his speed is the only thing that kills this card. He is a slow-mo. He's as slow as a freaking snail. But he's got the defense. He's got the shooting. If you can catch him wide open, he's probably going to drill it for you. Now moving on to the second shooting guard is going to be Jimmy Butler. Now this card is great for a couple reasons. He's got the mid-range, a decent mid-range. He's got a better three-pointer than his mid-range. But again, another defensive monster at 90. 90 defense. That's phenomenal. And I think his speed is okay at an 86. So yeah, I love this card. 86 monster. Moving on to the small forward. We got Mello. A lot of you already know about Mello. Fat Mello. That picture is the worst. He literally looks like he's 300 pounds. But moving or standing mid range is an 84. I look at shooting for a lot of these cards, but easy jumpers on all of these cards. Standing three, you probably want to put a shoe on him, but I don't think Jordan, he is Jordan sponsored. I don't think Jordan has a three shoe, so you can't increase his three. But his defense isn't that bad. Oh, it's actually horrific. Excuse me. But he's an offensive monster. You're probably going to want to use him if you do want a defensive monster. What you'll need to do is get a Kawhi Leonard. I didn't put Kawhi Leonard in here because there's somebody else that's cheaper that handles the D. He handles the D. And I know what you're going to say. He handles the D. But his standing mid-range, 81. His standing three-pointer, an 86. Defense, 85. Driving dunk, 85, and then throw a speed shoe on this card. Another amazing, 87. He's super fast. His speed shoe, I think his speed is normally uh, 78, I think. But amazing card. Paul George, second favorite gold card in the game. Second favorite. And Kawhi Leonard could have been on this small forward list. So if you don't like either of these, check out Kawhi Leonard. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. And then we're moving on to power forward. Now, Blake Griffin, they made this card freaking cheese. Not only is he 6'10", they gave him a mid-range, but they also... Standing three-pointer, 74. I literally had someone drill an open three-pointer on me with Blake Griffin. Like, 
They got it out for Blake Griffin this year. His rebounding is ass, which I don't understand, but because he's got the hops. But his defense is okay. His on ball, pick and roll defense is better. Driving dunk, 97. He's going to be more an offensive power forward, but with driving dunk and the speed of a 74 for a big guy is going to be awesome. Give you an advantage. And then the, le the second power forward is going to be LaMarcus Aldridge. Bro, I don't know where all these power forwards started learning three ball, but he's got an 85 mid-range. Standing three-pointer is going to be an 81. Bro, this guy's got a better three-pointer than Russell Westbrook. I don't understand 2K sometimes, but there it is. His free throw is good. He's going to make those. His defense is decent. On ball sucks. But driving dunk, I mean, this guy is a great speedster, and he gets rebounds. Some of these stats lie a little bit. Even though their stats are low, I feel like he gets tons of rebounds. Now, we're almost finished here. I know you've hung in there with me. This is a longer video than normal. But DeAndre Jordan, this card being lower, he's amazing. I know his free throw sucks. I know, but his rebounding makes up for everything. And his speed for a center, a 71 on fleek fleek mode with this dude he's gonna be your defensive and your rebounder not much offense unless you get him on a wide open drive or he just puts back dunks like nothing he is an yeah him or demarcus cousins now demarcus cousins is the card where you kind of get everything you're gonna get some mid-range the mid-range of a standing mid-range of an 80 don't shoot three pointers with him unless you want his dynamic card because he's got amazing potential on his dynamic card but also his rebound defensive rebound in 92 offensive is a little bit bad walk is great but then also standing dunk his speed is pretty bad i would suggest putting a speed shoe on him but if you guys said what were your three cards that you'd use for road to playoffs I would use Kyrie Irving. This is what I did use. I used Kyrie Irving, Paul George, DeAndre Jordan. Yours might be different than mine, but I love that. It had everything I need. It had speed, it had defense, and it had rebounding. That's what I needed for my three gold cards. But guys, that is your review on my top gold cards in the game right now. This is not including historic people, obviously, because historics... I don't know. I haven't played with a lot of the historic. So we're just doing current day players. But guys, hit the thumbs up. Get, yeah, hit the thumbs up. Give the video a subscribe button. Push. Go ahead and push that, buddy, if you want to see more great reviews. I got gameplay coming soon. Don't worry. Gameplay is coming to this channel. I know I've been doing a lot of reviews. Um, we got good news today. Amethyst are coming out Thursday and Friday. So good news there. But guys, I can't thank you enough. 3,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much. Give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And Richie Nation. Party on.